Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another color grading video. Today, I'm going to be color grading this music video. It was a romantic music video and the color grade or the look that I'm going for, it is like a natural look. Here is what we're going to be creating. The footage was shot on the Lumix GH5 10 bit 422, and the picture style was a very flat picture style Vlog L. So, the first thing that I'll do is to color correct the footage so that it has a standard look. Then, I'll do some sort of color balance, and then lastly, add a grading, very minimal grading. So, without wasting time, let's get started. All right, the first thing. Let us correct the footage. So I'm gonna select the clip on the timeline. Then I'll bring the waveform here on the Lumetri scopes. Then I'll go to the Lumetri color. And on the basic correction, I'm gonna input a loot. The one I'm gonna use is called Alexa Default Ray 709. Then I'm gonna come to the contrast. While looking at the waveform, I'll take it all the way to 100. Then go to the blacks and push them down on the graph so that they are barely touching zero IRE. I'm also going to reduce the shadows a little bit, maybe to negative 17. Even the highlights, I'm going to adjust them maybe to somewhere around here. When we look at the graph, you can see the whites are barely hitting 100 IRE and the blacks are barely hitting the zero IRE, which is what we want and you can see how the graph is evenly spread. That means our footage is properly exposed. The only thing I would do is to adjust the white balance. Just add a little bit of warmth and maybe the tint. I don't know, maybe negative 0.2, somewhere there. You can see the before and after. I'm happy. Next, I'm going to go to the Effect Controls window, right click on the Lumetri color and rename it Correction. And the next thing I'll do is to adjust the color balance. The first thing I'll do, I'll check if the colors are balanced. So I'm going to change from the waveform to RGB Parade and look at the graphs. I can see the rates are a little bit high, so I'm going to go to the Lumetri color go to the curves, RGB curves, and I can see the reds are a little bit high, so I'm gonna reduce them a little bit. Then the blues in the shadows are high as well, so I'm going to take them a little bit down. Now, when you look at the graphs, they all look the same, which means the colors are now balanced in the image. Next, the skin color and the skin tone is looking a little bit yellowish, so I need to correct that, and to do that, First, I'm going to change from RGB Parade to Vectorscope YUV. Then, I'm going to draw a mask around the skin tone. Okay. As you can see, the colors are leaning a little bit to the yellowish direction. So, to correct that, I'm going to go to the curves, hue saturation curves, then come to hue versus hue pick this eyedropper and select the skin color, then grab the nodes and push it upwards the reds whilst looking at the vector scope until it is perfectly aligned with this vertical line here. This is where the skin tones should be. Okay. Next, I will increase the saturation of the colors here, like the blues. I'll just pick the eyedropper on the hue versus saturation curve and select the blue color and increase the saturation just like this. I'm also going to increase the saturation of the greens. So I'm going to pick the eyedropper on the hue versus saturation curve. Again, select the greens and increase their saturation. I can see it's almost looking good actually. Here is the before and here is the after. Next, I'm now going to add a color grading. So what I'm going to do is add another instance of Lumetri color and I'm going to use a loot actually. So I'll go straight to the creative section. On the look, I'm going to browse for the three stripe look. 
again everything is in the resource download folder or linked below the like button in the description i'm going to reduce the intensity of the loot to 50 percent you can see the before and the after this is already looking great next i'm gonna go to the hsl secondary i'm gonna key out the skin color so i'll pick the set color eyedropper and select the skin color then use the set color add eyedropper to select many portions of the skin so that i can have a perfect key let me check this color gray box so that i can see the skin tone better you can use these sliders to make sure you have a perfect key okay. once i have a perfect key of the skin then i'm going to select this picture icon here to invert the selection because what I want to work on is the background, not the skin itself. On the refine section, I'm going to push denoise to 10 and blur to 10 as well. And what I want to do is to add a little bit of bluish in the background so that it can create a good contrast with their skin tone. So I'm going to first of all reduce the highlights in the background. I'm also going to do the same on the shadows. Then I'm going to push the colors in the shadows to the bluish direction. And on the mid-tones, I'm going to push the colors in the orange direction to compensate a little bit for the blues that we have just added on the shadows. And then the highlights, I'm going to also just push it a little bit in the bluish direction. Now, this is great. Look at the before and after. Then I'm going to go to the effect controls, Lumetri color, right click and rename it color grading. Next, I want to work on the skin tone because I think they look a little bit pale. So I just want to give them a little bit of a punch orangish look. So I'm going to add another instance of Lumetri color. Then I'm going to go straight to the HSL secondary. I'm going to key out the skin color. So I'll pick the set color eyedropper and select the skin color. Then use the set color add eyedropper to select many portions of the skin. Let me check this color gray box so that I can see the skin tone better. You can use these sliders to make sure you have a perfect key. On the refine section, I'm going to push the noise to 21 and blur maybe to somewhere around 12. Then I'll come to the temperature and increase it all the way to maybe somewhere around 20, 21 so that they can have really good warm skin color and then maybe the tint reduce it a bit to somewhere around negative nine when it comes to contrast i want to increase them a bit so that i can have contrast in the skin because it looks a little bit washed away so i'm going to increase the contrast to maybe 41 and then i can add a little bit of sharpening maybe to somewhere around 12 I can also see the saturation is too high so let me reduce it a bit to maybe somewhere around uh, 94 and just like that the color grading is done you can play around with the colors and adjust them to your taste but i just really wanted it to have this natural look and i think i'm happy here is the before and here is the after So as usual, once I'm done with the whole process, I'm going to copy all these Lumetri colors and paste it onto other clips and then continue to adjust those clips to match each other. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next color grading video. This is it. Peace.